G'day, Sam here from Byron Bay. I'm the Senior Audio Engineer at Ginny Media. Here are today's FAQs. What's a pop filter and do I need one? Pop filter, pop screen or pop shields, they're all the same thing. You might have seen a black circle which sits between a microphone and the person speaking. That fabric over a circular frame is the most common pop filter. But anything which dampens the air explosion, known as plosives, are also pop filters. Plosives occur when articulating and projecting some hard consonants. T, K and P, which is toneless, t, k, p, and D, G and B, which has tone, d, g and b. Put your open palm of your hand in front of your mouth until you can feel your nose and say, pickle, pickle, pickle. You can feel the plosive, a puff of air. That's what pop filters are trying to stop. Really simply put, plosives are bad because microphones freak out. It kind of makes a bang or booming sound. So that's probably why you should use a pop filter. It means one less thing to think about. However, you can live without one with awareness and practice. Talk across the microphone, not into it. I'm not using a pop filter. Here's me talking into the microphone. Pop, pop, pop. Here's me talking across the microphone. Pop, pop, pop. Pickle. Yep, that'll do it. I'm Sam. Catch you later. Hire a pro or become a pro at ginnymedia.com.